And welcome to Supercast Recommends, the segment where obviously we recommend something that we think is super. Be sure to check out today's recommendation at your earliest convenience. If you recognize that song, then you're in the know already, and that's great to know. But if you don't, I'm going to tell you about the awesome show known as Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks is a sleepy little town in Washington near the Canadian border. It's got an old-fashioned diner, a lumber mill, a nice hotel, all surrounded by breathtaking forests and waterfalls. It's a quaint and somewhat boring town, echoing back to a simpler time, at least on the surface. Because underneath this blasé surface lies a world much more dark and sinister, which includes drug dealers, adulterers, murderers, and of course, beings from another dimension who like to, you know, kill on occasion. Most of the town is oblivious to this darker nature of the community they live in. That is until local high school student Laura Palmer is found dead after being brutally murdered. Now it's up to the agent Dale Cooper and local police force who's led by Sheriff Harry S. Truman, not the president though, to solve this mystery of who killed Laura Palmer. Yeah, that's the setup for Twin Peaks, and this is a show that I watched a while back, but I like to revisit every once in a while, just because I think it's fascinating. It's such a blend of tones and like such great genre me- melding, and if you're not familiar with it, it, it'll really just throw you for a loop. Um, it's from the minds of David Lynch and Mark Frost. David Lynch, as you know, is the famous film director known for such classics as Eraserhead and Blue Velvet, just to name a few. And Mark Frost, he's just a well-known entity in the Hollywood, um, great television writer. And they sat down to create this show back in early 1990, 91, and it blew people's minds uh, because this is network television we're talking about. And it's crazy because it's obviously by the setup, you can tell it's a mystery, but it also has a lot of comedic elements which stem from the more absurd sort of things it throws out there, such as the aforementioned log lady. It also unapologetically plays a tribute to soap operas of all things. And this is where a lot of the comedy comes from, but also the -the over-the-top drama, which really gets you coming back and really invested in these characters. Really like all the characters, especially the lead, Del Cooper, played by Kyle McLaughlin. But I I just love this town. I love the setting. And it's, I wish they would have had more episodes because it kind of stops after 30. So it's really not one that you have to invest weeks and weeks of your time to binge. You can basically just knock it off in a few sittings, which is nice. And try to just fight the temptation not to watch all at once. I'll go ahead and warn you, it is a very convoluted plot, but not in a bad way. There's a lot of characters to keep up with, but that's what adds to the rewatchability. And of course, the aforementioned uh, horror elements um, are somewhat disturbing at times. And you're kind of asking yourself, how did this get shown on network TV? And not going to reveal who the actual murder is, but I will say that's probably the worst part of the show. Um, Originally, David Lynch said, I'm going to hold off on revealing this to the very last episode or possibly not revealing it at all. The network execs pressured him to, to reveal it early in season two. And as a result, Season 2 kind of goes through this weird thing where it pretty much wraps it all up. It goes through this lull where it doesn't make much sense, like a lot of meandering. And then finally finishes off on a really positive note, um, even though it's also kind of depressing. And really one of the biggest cliffhangers in history of television because that was not resolved for over 25 years when they finally came back with a third season. But I highly recommend it. It's only about 30 episodes. So you can knock it out in a few weeks of just watching. And it's the music's great, the directing's great, the writing's great, cast is great. In case you haven't figured it out, it's pretty great. So go check out Twin Peaks. If you haven't seen it already, if you have, go watch it again. Do yourself a favor and check it out. Thank you for listening to this Supercast Recommends clip. Please be sure to take a look at our social media and and be aware when our next full episode comes out. We look forward to seeing you there, and have a super day.